Covenant network is absolute chaos. From what I've been able to piece together, their leadership ordered all ships to abandon Halo when they found the Flood, but they were too late. The Flood overwhelmed this cruiser and disabled it. The Covenant are terrified the Flood will repair the ship and use it to escape from Halo. They've sent in a strike team to neutralize the Flood and repair the ship for immediate departure. I've got a good lock on Captain Key's CNI transponder signal. He's alive, and the implants are intact! There's some interference from the cruiser's damaged reactor. I'll bring us in as close as I can. Oh, oh I see. The coordinate data needs to be... Right. Sorry. Hey guys, Johnny Crimson 2000 here, and welcome back to Halo Combat Evolved. This is part 19. And, uh... Yeah, so now we're, this is the second to last level in the entire game. Holy crap guys, we're almost done. And uh, this level is keys, and this entire thing, well, most of this uh, level takes place inside the the um, Covenant battleship, I guess, if you want to call it this. Uh, this first part, you really don't have to take, you know, you don't really have to do all that much. As you can see there, you can just take use uh, the... Um, the invisibility cloak there that I found and all you have to do is make your way onto this hole here and all you have to do is uh, jump off like I did there so stylish going in backwards baby and as you guys can see there we, we land safely so no big deal into this big vat of uh, coolant I think it's supposed to be when I first saw it I thought it was just like really cool alien water but no it's actually coolant from the uh, the the Covenant ship and uh, my god this thing is so so dark uh, I'm watching this by the way I'm commentating as I watch this pre-editing so I may end up editing this level uh, to be a little bit brighter because I'm having a hard time seeing um, this level is very dark and uh, as you guys can see there I'm running over back and forth over a shotgun but uh, as I've always said if at this point in the game you always want to have a shotgun, especially if you're going at this in single player by yourself, you want a shotgun. Pretty much anywhere there is flood, you want a shotgun. And uh, considering how, pretty much for the rest of the game, you're going to be facing off against both grunts and, or not grunts, uh, covenant and flood, you, you want a shotgun immediately. As soon as you can get your hands on it, you want a shotgun. Thankfully, because we're still facing off against the flood, um, the human forms tend to oftentimes have a shotgun on them so all you have to do is kill them and get one uh, very easily and uh, you can restock up on um, ammo that way as well as you guys can see there that guy had a shotgun as well so um, this is a good time to use your flashlight as well uh, one last time I can't remember if I actually use it in the mall which is the last level and uh, yeah I died <laughs> Uh, no biggie though, the checkpoint was literally right there, so um, it's no big deal. I didn't cut it out because I didn't need to. But uh, as you guys can see there, the Flood are always and still are very much a threat. As you guys can see there, I tried to throw, get fancy over here, I missed that time, but if I throw it again, booyah! Sticky that sucker! So yeah, uh, this level is keys, as you guys heard in the opening cinematic. Uh, the point of this level is that we're trying to go inside the the uh, Covenant ship and uh, retrieve keys. Uh, Captain Keys, which as you guys may remember, he was... I uh, uh, actually can't remember now. He was captured by the, by the Flood um, when we first arrive in... 343 Guilty Spark, I believe that was the name of the level. Can't remember. The the level where we're first introduced to the Flood, really. We find that uh, because of that videotape that we watched, we saw that Captain Keys and uh, Captain Johnson, um, they were, you know, they 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 ex they went up against the Flood for the first time, and uh, we didn't know what Captain where Captain Keys was, so we kind of just assumed that he died, but. You guys can see here, we get a confirmation that no, he's not dead. He just got captured by the flood. Uh, and in this part right here, you want to the the strategy basically that I'm using here is that you're uh, I'm waiting. I'm not jumping down for two reasons. One, 
because as you guys can see there there is an infinite amount of flood that are coming out of the coolant um, if you if you literally just sit here and wait they will continuously come from that that pool of coolant as you guys see there they're just coming out um, there's an infinite amount they'll just continue to go you know to come out um, and respawn there until you actually fall in there and actually you know go on foot the reason why I didn't do anything the reason why I waited is because I was waiting for them to take out the the uh, the hunters and uh, as you guys can see uh, saw there I actually helped help them take out the hunters because that's what you want to do or that's what I always prefer to do uh, here you just want to take out the grunts here and you want to man the, the the turret immediately because from around the corner there you're gonna see start seeing a bunch of um, a bunch of the flood you want to take them out as soon as you can with the turret don't waste any ammo any ammo sorry um, and you see there the little you know infection forms are gonna be going on around you but for some reason they they can never get you they get stuck as you guys see there they're all around me but they're not actually hurting me. oh that hurt me but the rest of them they they won't hurt you because they get stuck in the turret for some reason so it's a good idea to just sit there and you know get out when you get out you can actually kill them like I did there but it's no big deal um, just a fair warning though when you come around this corner you're gonna be uh, greeted very much by some infection for, or ah, combat forms so do be careful of that and holy crap this this play let's play has been going on for so long <laughs> it's been going on since what like July um, yeah I didn't expect this let's play to keep going on for so long thankfully though we're almost done and um, we'll get to go on to another game so if you haven't been enjoying watching this let's play then I apologize I mean there's a bunch of let's play Halo Combat Evolves so I knew it wasn't gonna be all that popular um, but you know I, I still wanted to do it this is one of my personal favorite games uh, one of the or the first Xbox game I ever played. Played this on day one, mofos. Power source detected. There's the gravity lift. So here we're gonna make our way up this little hill there, and we're gonna go up That's that grab lift so we can go back into the the ship. Which, uh, by the way, doesn't make sense. We just jumped out of the ship, and now we're making our way back into the ship. But I guess it's uh, where we went out from a place where we didn't really have a choice. You know, we kind of had to jump off because there was no floor. So now we're making our way back in, and hopefully there will be floor, so we can progress through the ship and find Captain Keys. So really just want to take out those elites, um, use a lot of grenades because they bunch up right there, and, uh, you know, just hold your position for a little while, and then soon you'll go up the grab lift. By the way, that's an ugly purple. <laughs> just wanted to say that. I know that was random, but... And uh, soon we, you know, we're here again, so... Um, if you guys haven't noticed already, the levels in this game do tend to repeat themselves. If you guys remember, this level pretty much looks the same like uh, the level before, the one where we actually rescued Captain Keys when he was in the um, in the jail cells. So the level, the levels themselves, I don't think you know repeat. But I, you know, the the aesthetics and the style of the levels certainly do. Like this level looks like that level where we rescued Keys for the first time. Um, the level before this one, which I'm trying to remember the name of. Uh, God, what's the name of that? Um, Two Betrayals is the same one as Assault on the Control Room, if you remember right. Um, and yes, I did just pull up the name of the uh, the levels. And as you guys can see here, the point of this part of the level is that you want to make your way down, but, um, and I'm going to catch myself partly because I edited it, ed edited it, edited it, <laughs> I edited it so that, um, to, you know, to cut out a death that I had, but you're supposed to make your way down to the ground floor that we just saw down there, um, that had all those, uh, carrier forms, but it's a, a much wiser idea to stay up there and try to take out some of the some of the flood as they come out, uh, which I will do soon enough. Actually, um, like I said, I actually did die at this point. It was because I, you know, kind of just rushed in. But you can get overtaken pretty easily, as you guys saw there. I kind of just paused and just made my way back. That is because I ever so cleverly, cleverly, am I just making up words today? So cleverly edited out 
two debts because, as you guys can see there, there's a bunch of in, uh, carrier forms down there, and there are some combat forms that will be appearing on the door as soon as we co uh, go down. So it's a good idea to try to take out as many of them as you can uh, while you're, you know, while you're on the second floor here. So you guys see there, there's a combat form, um, so that you don't get overtaken by the time that you get down there. So it's a good idea to do that. As I said before, I, I died twice, but of course, because of my pro editing skills, you didn't see that. Of course, it was a little awkward where I just, you know, just walked forward, stopped, and then made my way back all the way up. By the way, that's one of the reasons why I do, uh, do Let's Plays post-commentary, so you guys don't have to see deaths over and over again. Which, by the way, you know, I, I have fun doing my, my live playthroughs, especially, you know, I did live playthroughs for, um... Halo 3 and Halo Reach, or at least when I when I played it online, you know, just for fun. And uh, I also do it live for my weekly series, Roulette Sunday, and they're, and they're all fun and stuff, but, you know, after a while it just gets annoying if you see the, the you know, the person die over and over again in the same spot. So anyway guys, uh, just take them out here, and you guys can see there, there's a big hole. Just take these guys out and we'll be making our way down to the lower level. But this is it for part 19. I will see you guys in part 20 of Let's Play Halo Combat Evolved. See you guys later. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to get more stuff from me. In the meantime, if you like my videos, be sure to find me on Twitter, Tumblr, Raptor, and ScrewTac.com to see the other gaming related content that I upload. Info is in the description. Who knows? Maybe you'll like my stuff. Maybe? Maybe?